Um, two years ago, I met Emma for the first time. Um, I was invited to her presentation at um, Alexander Palace, and it was just incredibly inspiring. Um, I'd read about her, and there's a musician that I love um, called David Sylvian, who also follows Emma, so I'd heard about her and from some of his music too. But um, such an such a special experience, and you can write, you can make films, but you can never really express a hug, I think. And I know when she hugged me, it was something I felt that was incredibly special. This year, um, I took my wife and my son, and we had a, a family hug, and it was just something incredibly special. So when Nath said, "Would you like to?" come to our youth and talk to young people about what inspires you, what you do, um, and perhaps even the spiritual dimension, it's so easy to say yes. What makes films really interesting, and what, what the difference between a really Hollywood, quick film that you go and see and forget, and something very profound that you remember forever, is always the inner motivation. It's always, what is the journey that the character is taking to become a better human being. What is, what is it that they are bringing into the film and the story that they are trying to overcome when they go through this journey? What is it inside them? And that, for me, is the thing that's always the most appealing thing. So, what I'm saying is that filmmaking is very, it's very public. Your films are marketed in a very public way and your failures are very public. But if you look at even the very best filmmakers, failure doesn't deter them. It's exactly what Swamiji said. It's all about learning, and it's all about being very careful in what you learn. And there's another thing that anyone brings to art, whether it's painting, drawing, screenwriting, you bring yourself, you bring all the happiness of your life, you bring all the sadness of your life, and you put it out there. And people are fantastic. People are really, really good at telling whether people are liars or they tell the truth. And people love people who tell the truth. If you're sincere when you write, if you really take a chance, people always respond. It's, a, it's, it's really scary to do that, but the worst thing to do in any form of art is to pretend. You know, there's no point in pretending, you, you, because you're there. You put yourself on the line and people respond. Listen, you, you never get your own way. And you, you see that sign, it's not there now. Together we can. The whole point about filmmaking is it's collaborative. As soon as someone tries to control too much of it, it's no longer collaborative. It becomes about control. And there's a big difference. And the best collaborations you can have are with people that you trust. And trust is not something that comes quickly. And trust when things are creative is all about emotion. So in Senate, for example, we had so many arguments. And that is, it's not my film. I mean, that's the first thing it's important to say. There was a fantastic director, Asif, on the film, who's just made Amy. There was there were two amazing editors on that film. We had the whole might of working title films on board that film. So, you know, any notion that this is a Manish Pandey film is nonsense. It's complete nonsense. I loved Senna. I'm really delighted I got a chance to express myself in a group of people who absolutely valued what I said. But I didn't edit every frame of that film. I didn't compose the music for that film. I didn't shoot the film. We got footage. So it's important, it's important to know from the outset, if you like, what it is you're trying to achieve when you go into film. I am very interested in human beings and very interested in spiritual values. And I'm very interested in, in the flaws that we have as human beings and how we overcome them, because I think that's really what life is about. For me, we're just, we're not perfect, you know, we have so many problems, so many issues, so many temptations, um, but in a way, life is all about trying to lead a good life. I don't think very few people, the Swami accepted probably, have led a completely 
perfect life. We've hurt people, we've let people down, we've lied. You know, we do these things, but what's great about filmmaking, and what's great I love about writing, is that you can write a story where you can explore something that you did right or that you did wrong, and you can change the ending, or you can change a character. But what it really allows you to explore is your feelings towards something. A book I'm reading at the moment, um, which has been written by, um, he's an English MP who used to be a soldier. And shortly after 9-11, he walked from the city of Herat in Afghanistan all the way to Kabul. And that was part of a journey that he made walking from Europe to Kabul. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because um, even after 9-11, you'd expect the world to be a very dangerous place, a very scary place. And this is, in a way, I think what we learn from the television and this is what we learn from most movies, and this is what we learn from advertising. Be scared. And it starts from a very young age. And I think if a soldier who's very English can walk from Europe to Kabul right after 9-11 and is welcomed into people's homes and villages, I think that really proves the reality of the world and therefore of human beings. And so the beauty of a place like this is that you take people when they're very young and instead of scaring them and making them fear things that they should never fear, we see within a few days how they quickly revert to being very good, open human beings. And that's not about being a perfect human being. That's about just being an open, decent human being. And I think Things like this are absolutely critical. Otherwise, you produce a bunch of fearful people who think that the solution to life is to make as much money as possible, because what that money will do will insulate you from the reality of the world. The truth is that if you insulate yourself from reality, you never experience life. And what's great about this is that people express, and they learn very early on by meeting children from all kinds of backgrounds, that they're actually very similar have very similar goals, interests, desires, and they do it in a very non-threatening way. Such children from superficially different backgrounds, but they're basically going to be exactly the same. You know within two hours of being here, you'll have ten friends for life, and that's great. When you make films, when you paint, when you write, whatever you do, really ask yourself why you're doing it. What is it that you're really trying to say? What, what are you scared of that you want to explore it? What are you triumphant about? What are you passionate about in terms of wanting to tell the story? And then don't be closed with people. Take, take a ch always take a chance because the worst thing that's going to happen is they say no. But if they like you enough and if they trust you enough and if they engage with you enough, one no is a closed door, but there will be 10 that will open up. And I think that's what I would say to you, is that if you're honest, and you find honest people, and you collaborate, and you try to write, paint, make films about some meaning, the good elements just come. They really do, and the doors just open. That's it.